New Jersey. Georgia. Connecticut. Massachusetts. Maryland.
Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9, 2 6. Division 926 provides the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders. Fall out and collect outer garments. Stay! Fly! Carry! Divisions, counter, march. Divisions, halt. Prepare for review. At a nominable dress lamp, dress. Ready. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
Division commanders, left or right, base, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant John Godfrey, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's passing review. Today, you will see six divisions comprised of 341 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Cody Pelletera from Naples, Florida. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the State Flags Unit on their 8th week of training, the Staff Unit on their 9th week of training, and the Triple Threat Unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 205, commanded by Master Chief Petty Officer Gregory Piazza, Chief Petty Officer Kenneth Close, Petty Officer First Class Ashley Halsey, Petty Officer First Class Eric Rao, and their recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Catherine Kane from Brazoria, Texas. Division 207. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dwayne Thompson. Petty Officer First Class Natasha Gonzalez. Petty Officer Second Class Derek Drummond. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Lauren McKim from Portland, Oregon. Division 208, commanded by Chief Petty Officer LaVon Harold. Petty Officer First Class Brian Keenan. Petty Officer First Class Mario Castro. Petty Officer Second Class Roxen Lewis. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman Apprentice Joshua Goldston from Woodland, California. Division 209. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Ryan Portezuela. Petty Officer First Class Victor Moreno. Petty Officer First Class Christopher Nickel. Petty Officer Second Class Anthony Thomas. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Michael Bradford from Lithia, Florida. Division 2 1 0. Commanded by 
Senior Chief Petty Officer William Doyle. Petty Officer First Class Edward Andrew. Petty Officer First Class Justin Metters. Petty Officer First Class Yoon Ahn. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Jacory Clark from San Antonio, Texas. Division 926. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dane Walton. Petty Officer First Class Naya Lake. Petty Officer Second Class Mary Kabusab. Petty Officer Second Class Joseph Smith. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Griffin Aloy from Fort Lee, Virginia. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on in the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Divisions, attention!
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command, arriving. Order of our guests may be seated. Color Guard, parade the colors. Will the guests please rise? Present arms.
present arms. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Eternal Father, after ten weeks of arduous training, we gather at this glorious moment to give you thanks and raise our praise of glory for all the good things you showered upon us. We lift our hearts and souls in prayers and gratitude for all the miracles we witnessed in our life and the life of our shipmates who were able to find friends to overcome the many obstacles of boot camp. Some faced physical obstacles and you hold them on the palm of your hands to overcome the fears and their fears and insecurities. Some had emotional challenges and you helped them win over their separation anxiety and made them strong, independent sailors ready to embark on amazing journeys. Some faced mental difficulties and you support them and enlighten their mind to discern the need to become the best version of themselves. Some struggled spiritually and Lord, you were there in their hardship to sustain them, to remind them that you are the Emmanuel, God with us. Even when things did get tough and hard, you reminded us that you are the ultimate love and you called us from the misery of our loneliness to join a greater cause and serve our nation and fellow citizens. From the initial P days and all its fears and worries, to passing the RBC assessment halfway through boot camp, from preparing to face the challenges of battle stations, to victoriously celebrating camping ceremony, now finally we are living this unforgettable long-waited moment of the graduation of these new sailors, standing here proudly waiting their well-earned liberty and especially uniting with their families and beloved ones. We bless you, Lord, for all the good and wonderful deeds and we offer you our gratitude to all the RTCs and staff members who helped shape these new sailors and prepare them to go to the fleet with head held high and minds filled with positive pride and courageous heart. Bless them, Lord, and reward them hundredfold and more. We are thankful also for our, our families and beloved ones who supported these new sailors and continue to do so. Bless them, Lord, and be with them, especially when duty calls and we have to go and answer it. Lead us all to the ports of salvation in your most holy name that is above all names. Now and forever we pray. Amen. Divisions. 
Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Division! Report! Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. All the visit, President or Council for Sir. The Sailors Creed. Ah.
Award winners, left or right face. Award winners supporting system. Very well. Good morning, I'm Captain Kirkford Brooks, commanding officer of the Crew Training Command. I'm pleased to welcome families and friends to our graduation ceremony and look forward to sharing this momentous occasion with everyone. With us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Kenneth Whitesell, Commander of Naval Air Forces and Commander of Naval Air Forces, U.S. Pacific Fleet. Our guest of honor is Force Master Chief H. Trenton Smith, Naval Air Force, U.S. Pacific Fleet. I cannot thank all of our visitors enough for your continued support, and I am sure your, your sailors are grateful for your encouragement throughout their training. I would also like to welcome all the veterans in our audience for their service to our country. With all our veterans, please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Division 926 graduates today. They are the triple threat unit, providing the crew choir, drill team, and band. Please join me in giving them and the five other graduating divisions here today a round of applause for their outstanding performance. This is where our Navy heritage meets the future and where these young men and women enter the profession of arms. The staff of the Crew Training Command are dedicated to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing here this morning. These sailors have successfully completed 10 weeks of demanding recruit training. They have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. They and others like them serve as the bedrock of our naval forces. They will join other sailors around the world to give our Navy its combat edge and enable us to help keep this nation secure. This training group is ready to graduate and serve in the world's most powerful Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 341 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission areas. A division that excels in every phase of training qualifies for the battle efficiency, honor division recognition, and is awarded the Battle of the Honor flag for this exemplary achievement. Division 926 has earned this honor today. And we congratulate them on a job exceptionally well done. Hurry! Present! Admiral Whitesell will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks, and our guest of honor, Force Master Chief Schmidt. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Michael Bradford, Division 209, from Lithia, Florida, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Bradford receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Good morning, Captain. Stephen, read the post of reporting. 
for having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Seaman Andreas Ruiz Acosta, Division 926, from Phoenix, Arizona, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Ruiz Acosta is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Shanice Thompson, Division 208 from Orlando, Florida, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Seaman Thompson is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Lauren McKim, Division 207 from Portland, Oregon, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during her crew training. Seaman McKim is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Nova Thompson, Division 926, from Creed, Colorado. For demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism, Seaman Thompson is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Brendan Voges, Division 208 from Fallbrook, California, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Airman Voges, the staff of the Crew Training Command, salutes you as the finest to this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Divisions, attention! It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners.
have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Kenneth Whitesell, Commander Naval Air Forces, Commander Naval Air Forces, U.S. Pacific Fleet, a native of Stuart Stroud, Virginia, and commissioned in 1985. During Vice Admiral Whitesell's illustrious career, he commanded Strike Fighter Squadron 41, Carrier Air Wing 1, and Carrier Strike Wing 2. He also served as Deputy Commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, Chief of Staff and Director of Maritime Operations, Center at U.S. Naval Forces Central Command. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome to Vice Admiral Kenneth Whitesell. Thanks, Gertrude. It's nice to come back and have a friend introduce me. First of all, let's uh, give a round of applause uh, to the RTC band as well as, uh, as the choir and the, uh, the drill team. That was pretty impressive. Uh, So good morning, distinguished guests, family members, and most importantly, the sailors of Division 205, 7, 208, 209, 210, and 926. Let me first acknowledge the most important fact in today's ceremony that you came here as volunteers and have chosen this opportunity to serve our nation. Precious few are qualified or even considered military service in this day and age. And while opportunity may have awaited you in colleges or the civilian world, you have traded this step, an important part of your adult life, and it will be a choice you are grateful for in the years to come. Today marks the culmination of basic training, which has tested your fortitude, your resilience, and ability to work as a team under stress. And as you don the Navy ball cap for the first time, You'll become part of an organization forever. But the road that led you from this place will charge you more than boot camp. You'll join the most lethal Navy that has ever sailed the oceans with the solemn duty to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. It's a demanding duty, one that expects you to continuously commit to excellence. Much will be learned outside these gates as you learn your rate, driven to ensure your shipmates can depend upon you in time of need. The Royal Navy's Rear Admiral Hopwood captured the truism best when in 1896 he wrote, on the strength of one Lincoln cable, dependent, dependent the might of the chain. Who knows when thou may be tested to live that thou bearest the strain. Your parents could not be more proud. Whatever road led you here, they perhaps had some doubt about the choice you were making as you picked up the torch to defend the free world. They hear the distant drums far from our shore where adversaries are preparing for conflict, building navies, and encroaching on liberties of their neighbors, broadcasting propaganda to deter our commitment to the international rules-based order. It is a commitment you are ready for, one you've chosen to sacrifice for. There are many watching this ceremony from the stands, parents, families, recruiters, and maybe some friends back home in attendance virtually. They will notice that you hold yourself a little different today. Your head a little higher, walking a little tall. That's because you had the courage to walk a road less traveled and earn a place of honor. The transformation now complete, you will soon begin the adventure of mastering nuclear energy sailing ships and submarines, monitoring communications of our adversaries, flying in our aircraft, or as Bud's candidates in the cold waters of Coronado. You will deploy time and again to deliver the forward presence our president depends upon to ensure freedoms of the seas, reassure allies and partners, and hold the enemy at risk in their backyard not ours. 
Many will sleep easy at night because you have the watch. And parents, you can sleep easy knowing the chiefs and officers entrusted to their care will have their back along the way. Having raised these young men and women with integrity and grit, you have lent them to our nation as part of our Navy family. Their growth, success, and well-being will ensure our Navy's success. Sailors, I know you'll likely forget what I said today, or even who I was, that's okay and expected. But you'll never forget the moment. You'll embrace the names of your loved ones after the ceremony, you'll take a quick photo. It will remain on your phone for years to come, and lying in your rack at night, thousands of miles from home. You'll likely swipe back months or years to find this moment in the camera roll. You'll pause, but not too long, before turning on the light, getting some sleep, before you prepare for the next watch. Life at sea is hard, but you'll not be alone. Never forget that your family is proud of you. Let those photos remind you of that fact. Hard days will come, but you'll learn to lean on one another and forge friendships that will turn shipmates into family and your name family. I am thankful for the privilege to be here today. Be men and women of integrity. Demonstrate courage. The course of world history depends upon it. Again, congratulations. Today you can say with pride, I am a United States Navy sailor. Thank you.
flags, posts, section leaders, fall out and retrieve our garments. Memorable of Navy Days. And without further delay, now hear this Liberty Call, Liberty Call. 